Most Amazing Top Teners, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we are talking the dumbest Facebook posts part two. You guys like part one so much, so we thought we would hit you up with a sequel. Are you ready to lose a few brain cells? Good. In at number 10, we have two girls who have never heard of Buffalo USA or Google. Facebook user Jess wrote, So a buffalo is a kind of bull. How can you get chicken wings off it? Her friend Alicia replied, Oh my god, I said that ages ago and everyone laughed at me. And though buffaloes clearly don't have wings, that's why we're friends. They do say that people make friends of equal intelligence. So. Buffalo, for those of you that don't know, is a place in northern New York where the buffalo wing was invented. A quick Google search would have cleared that right up for those wondering. These gals are probably wondering why there aren't actually any whales in Wales. More chicken related Facebook posts up next. In at number 9, one Facebook user is pretty pumped to be having chicken corn on blue for dinner. Good for them, but what? Most importantly, what is corn on blue? What's the blue part. I'm very confused. This Facebooker doesn't seem to quite know either if their use of a question mark is anything to go by. I'm guessing they meant cordon bleu, a French dish of chicken wrapped in meat with a cheese filling battered in breadcrumbs. Delicious. Definitely no corn or blue involved. In at number 8, one Facebook user is kind enough to wish the earth a happy birthday. Back on New Year's Day in 2014, a Facebook user with the last name Sternberg wrote, I can't believe the earth is 2014 years old. Happy birthday earth. Babe, no. The earth has been around for 4.5 billion years, humans thousands of years, and the Gregorian calendar, to which our year corresponds, was made in 0 AD. Before that we counted years in BC, so if for example the Egyptian era began in 332 BC. When her friends question her, she says, God made the earth 2014 years ago today as a birthday present for Jesus. Even if we're able to get on board with the religious aspects, how was Jesus having a birthday before he was even born or even had a home to live in? I'm so confused. If she is so religious, how is she unaware of the years pre-Christ or aware of history or science? at all. Ok so moving on into number 7, we have a rather sassy Facebooker called Liz, who wrote, No offence boys, but you're stupid. So let's start with offence. No, I think she means offence, Liz. That's just not how you spell it. Also what is going on with the full stop after boys? I think you're looking for a comma. Finally Liz, Y-O-U-R-E, not Y-O-U-R. Don't forget those apostrophes either, very important. Ultimately boys, I think we all know who is stupid. Next up, Jess is wondering where all the rich people are these days. She wrote, is it just me or does nobody have manners these days? Manners. 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 I guess that there's just not enough space for that kind of luxury these days. Jess's friend Matt had the good manners and politely replied to her saying that, like most of us, he just lives in a normal house. Getting water at number 5, one Facebooker spent 10 minutes trying to spell water bottle and, well I guess you could say it was 10 minutes wasted. L-E guys. L-E. Next up at number 4, it sounds like Rachel is going to need a new credit card. Facebook user Rachel wrote, Somebody told me you can pay for stuff on the internet by putting your credit card in the CD slot. Is that true? Because that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. Oh honey, I think that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard, so. Many people were quick to ask Rachel if she was kidding, to which she wrote, ha ha ha, yes. She is kidding. She said, and I quote, I tried it and it wouldn't take the card. It only takes round cards. Ah yes, those round cards that we call CDs. Shame you can't pay for much with them, but you can listen to music while you shop online and enter your card details at the checkout. Coming on in at number 3, we have a rather confused poor soul just looking for the country of Muslim. Wait what? The country of where? An anonymous Facebook user who updated their status alongside the emotion of feeling confused wrote, Just found out that Muslim is a religion. All this time I've been thinking it's a country. One of their friends wrote, I'm not surprised. Which, I mean, firstly, dude, WTF. And secondly, like, wrong again. Muslim isn't a religion. Islam is the religion that Muslims follow. Like Judaism is the religion of Jewish people. Double whammy. Wow. 
I think that the poster, their friends, and the 22 people that like this post maybe need to step outside of their bubble for just like a little bit. This also goes for our number two. Here we have a user who will remain anonymous to save them from a potential lynching. They wrote, just found out Jewish wasn't a country, confused faced. Who'd have thought, eh? Who'd have thought? I mean, many, many. Many people. Finally, coming on in at number one, we have one surefire way to ruin Christmas. Facebook user Kirk wrote, just finished raping the kid's presents. Kirk, no, no, just put it away, Kirk. His friend Ryan helpfully pointed out that maybe he should check his spelling, because that W literally makes all of the difference. So that was the top 10 dumbest Facebook posts part two, do you want a part three? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you see any weird, dumb Facebook posts, then send them to me and I will include them maybe in the next video. Let me know if you like this video by telling me in the comments section down below and I will try and respond to as many comments as I possibly can. For now, I've been Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. If you like this video, make sure you show us by giving us a good thumbs up, sharing this video with a friend, and of course, staying subscribed to our fabulous list channel. And I will see you beauties next time.